I don't know what to say. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Very excited because there is so much, so, so much to be grateful for. If you're new to this channel and you're just seeing my face for the very first time, welcome. My name is Sandra and I am the host here. If you're a returning viewer, you're an OG, you know, and you'll be coming here to pick my content. Thank you so much. You're part of the reasons why I'm still here. You're part of the reasons why I still open my camera every day to talk. What a year, right? What a year. I know. Like, um, sorry if I'm looking front, my my mirror is there. So I just need to consult it sometimes to, you know, see what I am doing. I'm so excited. I'm so happy, particularly excited. Uh, for obvious reasons, of course, some of you know why I'm excited. For the people that don't know why I'm excited, this time last year, I was making a video like this as well. I'm talking and, you know, just not knowing what I wanted to do. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I know what I want to do now, but I'm just very excited. Because this time last year, I think I had just about 10 subscribers. At the time, I had 10 subscribers. I was still, you know, creating content for myself at the time. I had just 10 subscribers and I was just posting maybe once in two months or so. But now, one year later, I can't even start to imagine how many we are here now. So, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that, you know, we have created a tribe here. So, yeah, um, today's video, I'm just going to be reviewing 2022 as it were, as a year for me as a person and for us here as a tribe. And I'll be doing my makeup alongside. Um, please, disclaimer, this is not a makeup tutorial. I'm not a makeup artist. Besides, there are no rules to makeup. If there were rules, I'll break them anyway. <laughs> if you see that I'm doing stuff the way you don't do it, please, I beg you, of God, just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah one of my subscribers actually requested this video and said um they want to really see how i do how i achieve my makeup soft glam the soft glam my everyday makeup so yeah this is going to be like a step by step i'm going to be also reviewing this year in this video as well so what i would do is any product that i use i'm going to put it up on the screen you know just so i can do two things at the same time all right so yeah 2022 what a year man what a year we have been through it me especially you know for a year that started really badly for me i ended it pretty well i ended it pretty well and oh yeah we don't judge here on this channel you guys know me i'm a brutally honest person i don't have filters sometimes to a fault even because i just say things the way they are so i'm going to be talking about all that had gone on the way it is right being really honest right about everything that has been happening right so yeah for a year that started pretty badly for me the year started pretty badly because some of you would know i lost my best friend to cancer of course i dressed her soul i lost her in march so yeah the that was just first quarter the year started pretty badly for me because when i lost her when she died for like i lost my balance i don't know how to speak it i don't know how to explain it that it makes sense but i actually did lose balance like for like a week i did not i could not function for like a week and it was it was just a very rude shock that it was so difficult for me to you know grasp it was so difficult for me to understand why something like that would happen and if you're wondering the reason why that death affected me so much was because the day that she was diagnosed of cancer i was right there with her in the hospital i feel like i have fly away here sorry let me try to tame it while i speak the day that she was diagnosed of cancer i was right there with her in the hospital and the day that she died i was right there with her also in the hospital every doctor's appointment i attended everything concerning her health i knew all the medicine all the in fact this is not supposed to be a sad video but i'm just trying to let you guys know how i'm just trying to let you guys know how much that death affected me right because i couldn't function anymore but let's even let's keep it pushing let's keep it moving 
the year started really badly for me uh i mean she was already sick into the new year and you know we're just holding on to this tiny tiny bit of faith like okay god you're going to do it god you're going to do something i remember how much i prayed i prayed did fasting there was nothing i didn't do i remember how much i prayed like god please keep this girl keep this girl and you know only for her to just you know wind up dead so i lost footing I'm not even going to lie. I did lose my footing. I lost hope in God. I was angry with God for a very long time. But yeah, I mean, all those happened and coupled with the fact that I was pregnant. My microblade is not microblading. No. It's not microblading. So please let me go and draw my eyebrow off camera and I'll be right back. Yeah. So yeah, most importantly, congratulations to those of us that, you know, left the year that entered last year pregnant or to those of us that got pregnant last year and to those of us that put to bed thank you jesus it's a miracle you know having to have a baby despite everything it's a miracle and also congratulations to those of you that left last year pregnant definitely we're going to rejoice with you next year and also to my moms in waiting congratulations to you because next year you are going to carry your own child in the mighty name of jesus amen so yeah um let's get right into it um i mean i was just talking about how tough last year was for me right um you know i thought that being pregnant was the best thing ever i felt pregnant and you know i just thought that <laughs> Like you guys know, one of the reasons how I started my channel was because I thought that pregnancy was a walk in the park. So the things that pregnancy was actually doing to me was was alarming to me. Like, how dare you, right? Pregnancy tested me as a person. Pregnancy tested me. Pregnancy tested my marriage. <laughs> pregnancy did test my marriage because, I mean, I got pregnant two months into being married. So... I, I just newly got to married. It's not like I know everything about being married right now, but then if I had known that, you know, the hormones were going to play that much big role. Oh my God, my watch has died, my viewfinder. Give me a minute. Oh, so I'm um, sorry when I went to charge my watch, I saw this head tie and I thought it looked cute too. So yeah, I'm going to wear this head tie. What do you guys think? I really don't care what you guys think. It's cute. It looks cute to me. So yeah, as I was saying, pregnancy would test you. It tested me. It tested my patience. It tested my marriage. So for those of you that want to, you know, go into this journey, it's a good thing. No lies. Like, it's a good thing. But for those of you that want to go into this journey, you need to know what you're doing. Go into it with your eyes wide open. Go into it wanting it because the funny thing is that you may go into it wanting it right but when you get there you would doubt everything you thought you ever wanted you would doubt it point blank you start thinking to yourself like omo are you sure this was the right step for me to take at this point in my life because that's 100 percent happened to me so <clears throat> moving forward what are the plans for this year what are what are we doing what am i doing i know that i made a video like this sometime this time last year and i was talking about how you know i'm suffering with identity crisis i don't know what i want to do yada yada i want to say to the glory of god that that is almost not the case again now i know what i want to do what i don't know is how to take it up a notch now starting with this youtube channel this youtube channel started like a joke because i got pregnant and the things that were happening to me were just a shocker for me like and then i decided to whip out my camera and document for myself that's how this youtube channel started though that's how this youtube channel started and then i said let me whip out camera and document for myself and then it was it was very like it was funny to me it was surprising 
as well to me that a lot of people could relate to my story a lot of people because like i said i mean it's even recently now of course i know about that people are now you know talking about their pregnancy we africans it's almost a taboo nobody talks about things like this pregnancy visa nobody you know really talks about things like this. so it's almost a taboo right so i mean i started sharing my journey and that's how i've been able to amass this number of subscribers that i've had it was because i i've been telling the truth i've been true i've been saying it exactly how it is i've been saying it exactly how it is me telling the truth about this whole journey so I really enjoy what i'm doing when i said pregnancy you know really tested me i was talking from the point of before my pregnancy those of you that follow my journey you already know i had a business that was doing very well and then pregnancy came my first trimester was difficult and then you know i had to stop the business and then i started doing youtube although youtube is not paying now i know that we are monetized but youtube is not paying funny enough there's actually a lot of things inside this monetization that time that i told you guys that was monetized it was just an invitation to come and apply you there's a lot of things at stake that there's a lot of things you need to do you need to submit these they need to send you stuff all the way from the us they need to send a code to you you need to do this verify this that that there's a lot of things but thankfully we've been able to do all of those things now we're waiting for the money that we um, that i'm going to amass through ads to get to a certain amount before i'll be able to withdraw so so far we're we're not doing very well <laughs> why does this thing keep going up so far we're not doing very well as far as you know ads go but i mean we're going to just keep pushing that's all we do here anyway we're going to keep pushing so yeah um now i know what i want to do i know that doing this makes me happy i know that coming here being on youtube makes me 100 percent happy but how do i monetize it because i mean it is not enough pregnancy is done no. i cannot keep hiding on that oh i'm pregnant i can't walk oh i'm pregnant i can't do this i need to you know i need to start being financially independent right i need to start being financially independent because i'm starting to feel you know we don't use the word useless here on this channel but i need to start being financially independent so now i know what i want to do how do i take it up a notch that's where we are now so i'm glad to announce to you that we have left the phase of uncertainty the phase of oh my god i don't know what i want to do i don't know what my life has in store to okay now i know what i want to do but how do i take it up a notch how do i monetize it right along the line on this channel i've made a lot of connections i've met a lot of people a lot of moms that are impacted into my life positively and also if you guys remember we did the whole christmas outreach thing and i am proud to say that we've been able to help at least 40 mothers in need i have a lot of mothers rallying around me thanking me thanking everybody in this community you know for the things that we've done so i have seen that doing this you know you know speaking for moms talking about motherhood sharing tips about motherhood is something i love to do i know that definitely it will be monetized but it's not monetizing right now and i'm not going to lie sometimes it gets me discouraged but i'm consoled by the fact that i knew that i did not start this channel because i thought i was going to make money i didn't even start this channel because i thought i'll ever make money off of it i've never made money off of it anyway but I didn't start this channel because i thought oh it was going to be an avenue for me to make money i just started it because of my love to you know talk about things documents and all that that's why you see that name of the channel is even sandra's archive right so i mean how do we go from here how do we go from here starting this year from like 25th every time that i remember that it was going to be a new year in a couple of days i would feel very sad I used to feel very sad like oh my god new year again what am i going to do what do i do i don't have a job i, I don't have a job i don't have a steady stream of income what do i do what do i do like i'm thinking about it and now my son is here now i'm so afraid 
I do not want a nanny, at least not yet, because of the things that happen to people, like the things that we see, the things that we read online. I'm so afraid. I don't want a nanny. I'm thinking, okay, should I take my son to a crutch? Maybe at six months, I can take him to a crutch. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that option. Right? Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I don't mind that option, right? I don't mind that option, but... <clears throat> Okay, let me just tell you guys the truth. The truth of the matter is that having been away from the corporate world, having been away from the corporate world for three years, having been away from the business world for one year, I am afraid to go back out there. I'm not going to lie. I am afraid because I don't know what is in store. I don't know. I don't know what is waiting for me out there. I'm scared. Sometimes I feel like I don't feel like that girl anymore. Like, this is me being brutally honest. Sometimes I don't feel like that girl anymore. Sometimes I just feel like this is all I'm ever going to be. I know I talk about it a lot because sometimes I feel sad. Coming into my life, you know, starting my whole adult life, I had so much, you know, prospects. I was the it girl, according to me at the time. I was working, I was doing very well at my job, and then I resigned for business. So I am so afraid right to go back into the outside world at this point like i'm very afraid the fear is not unfounded if we're going to be honest the fear is not unfounded but i need to at some point conquer that fear so i've thought about it should i do business should i do business because definitely business is going to afford me time to you know take care of my child to train my child how i want to train my child business is going to afford me that time but then business needs capital the way things are right now business needs capital and no don't ask me about the business i was doing before no i don't want to go back to that business that business i was doing before i was selling things for men i was selling things for men i just feel like you know you should one should dream bigger i was actually selling thrifted items for men at the time at the time the level that my life was at the time it was doing okay but right now i have a family one should dream bigger and also just because you know I really don't want to get back into that business anymore. I just want to do something that will be more lucrative now, right? I want to do something that is going to pay more, be more lucrative now. So that's where I am currently. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should start a business. But the business will need capital, right? Business is going to need capital. So all of these things, one will put into consideration i'm thinking okay should i go back to nine to five every time i think of going back to a nine to five i remember oh my god my son the reason i'm even thinking my son i know that by the time i start my nine to five if i did want to go back to a nine to five by the time i start the nine to five and i'm like oh my son after like one week i'll get used to it but the truth is am i ready to leave my son truly i'm not you know when they say they need to win a baby off of their mother at this point you people need to win me off of my child i am so attached to that boy i'm so addicted to the boy and it's funny because i worked with a lot of moms when i was doing my nine to five right i worked to a lot of moms and it was i don't know they used to come back to work and some of them used to cry when they came back to work now i see what they really used to feel you know like when they came back to work so should i get the nine to five you know it's something i'm still thinking so at this point the thing is oh my god they call me oh sorry guys somebody is calling me oh i'll call her back so yeah um i'm thinking can i should i get a nine to five you know all of these things i think about them a lot but i think that where i am i'm happy here i'm happy creating content i'm happy being of help i'm happy teaching mothers right i'm happy with all the things that i'm doing but we need to find a way to monetize it yesterday when the pastor was preaching he said something that really resonated with me he said something that really put my mind at ease because like i told you guys every time i thought about this new year i would just start feeling really sad like god now we can we are going into another year i don't know what i want to do i'm still not financially you know dependent i don't have any money you know yada yada feeling sad and all that so pastors spoke about something yesterday he said that 
for this new year all we need is obedience and flexibility and i really liked that because for the longest i've been trying to you know put myself into a box like okay what am i going to do what am i going to do and every time i thought about what am i going to do i was thinking about it in this niche in this whole motherhood lifestyle creating content niche but after pastor spoke about it yesterday he said be ready to do what you've not done before at this point i'm at peace i'm happier right because i know that um i know that i'm i'm open I'm ready if it is nine to five when the time is when it is time for me to go back to work because I gave myself six months I said by six months if nothing is moving I'm going to have to take a nine to five you know to support my family so when Bolero is six months Bolero is going to be four months on the eighth of this month so when Bolero is six months and nothing is moving I'm going to prop myself up and go back to work get back out there and you know crunch it right so i'm no longer afraid of anything i'm not afraid of anything because there's a place in the bible what is it first corinthians 2 verse 7 now that is saying that it is not about who is planting or who is watering it is god that gives increase so if you like plants if you like use the the best planter in the whole world to plant your seed if god is not good if god is not giving increase you are just planting in vain right so i just want to See where where this will take us i just want to see you know how much i'm going to push myself i'm just going to be listening to the holy spirit and see how much i'm really going to push myself right so yeah that's the plan for this new year and also to you know create more content really create more content be authentic be original as usual because i know that part of part of the reason why you are here is because of the authenticity in this channel and the originality too so i hope to you know keep that as well oh my god can you hear people leave me alone i hope to keep that as well so yeah when we talk about plans for the year you personally what plans do you have for the year if you are a mom that you had to leave your job what plans are you going to have what plans are you having are you thinking of going back to work are you thinking of you know starting a business just let me know let me know let's discuss in the comment section also if you have any suggestions for me like i always say please leave me suggestions in the comment section i'm going to you know explore them but so far i feel like i'm on the right path i feel like i know where i want to be i feel like i know what i'm aiming at I'm just going to give myself time. Right? You know, growth. Growth is a wave, right? Growth is a wave. And a wave does this. Wave goes like this. Wave goes like this. Sometimes the tide is low. Sometimes the tide is high. I think that is the space I'm in right now. I think that is the space I'm in right now. And I also, you know, I say this all the time on this channel, but I think that I also need to give myself grace because I expect so much. The expectations I have of myself are up there and so when i'm not crunching it when i'm not meeting that target i you know i start to feel bad i start to feel sad like oh my god what, what am i doing i'm not doing good you know i'm not doing well and all of that so yeah be kinder be kinder to myself that's what i'm going to do so i also want to talk about how much i have grown and how much i have grown as a content creator and how much this channel has grown do you guys know that there is hardly any day and I'm saying this with all amount of um, humility, right? There's hardly any day that I step out that I don't get somebody coming up to me like, oh, hey, I follow your journey on YouTube. So that's how I feel know that there are a lot of you that watch my stuff that are not even subscribed yet because for the most part, I know the people that the, the um, commenters here, I know the people that mostly comment i know some of you sometimes so i watch your stuff i like your courage and that makes me really happy and that also reinforces the fact for me that if i continue with what i'm doing if i continue in this stride with what i'm what i am doing in no distant time i'm going to be known i'm going to be a brand because i'm trying to build like a motherhood brand also the giving thing that we did that last time i want to do it maybe every quarter because i was surprised at how much we were able to help mothers that just makes me happy for this journey listen this motherhood journey is difficult in itself it's difficult in itself so it makes me happy to know that oh okay 
were able to you know help mothers were able to do something good something nice for them so i'm really happy that this brand is growing also let's find a name for ourselves let's find a name for this tribe sorry give me a minute let's find a name for this tribe what are we going to call ourselves let me know what we're going to call ourselves what are we going to call ourselves because next year there's going to be a lot of outreach there's going to be a lot of educative content in fact they're good there's also going to be a lot of collaboration as well on this channel so yeah that's the you know what i have planned out for the future of this channel by next i said i keep saying next year by this year today is january the first year so that's what i have planned out for this channel by this year i'm very excited i'm very excited because if someone would have told me that by this time one this time last year that okay i was going to have such a strong voice and i was going to have such you know a very tight-knit community of mothers you know that we help each other we share with each other i was going to just say ah, you know what you're lying but i mean look at us look at us here we are doing it we are, we are killing it we are crunching it so i'm really you know happy about the future especially for me here and also for this you know this youtube channel so let me know what are your plans you personally what are your plans for this year are you pregnant are you a mom are you a mom in waiting what are you doing what are you hoping to be doing guys this makeup is not going to bang like the one that i normally would do for obvious reasons of course oh my god people should stop calling me now it's in the stopping what i'm doing so yeah this makeup is not going to bang like the one that i normally would do because i'm doing it and i'm talking i don't know how to talk and do something <laughs> because it's going to spoil so yeah this is this is my review this is my review of the year how would you rate your year i had a good year like i said for a year that you know started out really bad for me and all the things that was happening to me were happening at once lost my best friend was pregnant you know didn't have a job everything that was happening to me happened all at once but i overcame and i'm i'm happy that you know that chapter is gradually you know coming to an end now i'm a mom <laughs> every time i say i'm a mom i just laugh because they be me like play sometimes so yeah now i'm a mom and life is staring to you know the direction that is looking like it will stay to and i'm really happy about it i'm really happy about you know this new year and what the future would you know hold for me hold for all of us on this channel i'm really excited for the future of this channel i can't wait to create content there's some content that i've created here on this channel that were not planned it was just okay ideas that just came to my mind and i'm like okay let's just go with the flow so there's good there's just going to be a lot of exciting stuff exciting stuff and i hope that you stick around with me you, you know you encourage ourselves i just want to build a tribe a tribe of mothers right i just want to build a tribe of mothers where a go to a go to spot like a safe haven i don't know how to explain it i just want to build a good like a tribe where we can be there for each other we can stand with each other in prayers we can you know be there for each other and also monetize it don't forget because yo this brazilian hair will not buy itself now right so yeah thank you guys i just hope that i was able to speak cohesively i was i hope that i was able to give a coherent speech because the ideas were just you know here and there in my head and i just wanted to be as true as possible i didn't want to script anything i didn't write anything i'm talking directly from my head so yeah i mean um if you're in a space where you don't know what you want to do if you're in a space where you're struggling with identity crisis like i struggled last year just it's going to be okay just keep trying your hands on different things keep trying your hands on different things one of them will definitely work one of them will definitely click so uh it's not like my own has clicked it but it looks like i'm in the step you know i'm in the step on on that right direction so i mean i'll check in with you guys again by the end of the first quarter so we're going to know what we are doing i'll be giving like a daily progress report and um, a quarterly progress report rather i'll be giving a quarterly progress report so we know what we are doing if things have changed if things are changing 
I'm going to let you guys know and we, we change alongside. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate your support because of your support. That is why I whip out my camera every day to create content. So yeah, this is not how I will usually do my makeup. But like I said, because I'm talking and doing it, so you know, go to bang like that. Usually I'll do my, I'll put on lashes, you know, just take my time more, but this is pretty much the foundation of all my you know my glam yes i always finish it up with set spray branch yourself is set spray so yes guys yes so yeah oh um, again yes we are back to our once in a week posted so i'm going to see you again this time next week thank you so much and if you have not if you have not liked you have not subscribed and you've not commented on this video what are you waiting for do it join the family be a part of the family and until my next video guys be well and yes happy new 